Today we're going to take a look at page one rankings by auditing our content or our URLs on our website to help us better understand what it takes to rank number one on Google. And we're going to do that with a tool called Audit. Now this is an AppSumo lifetime deal for $47 and I can speak to Chris because I've actually talked to him a few times. He's a fantastic guy. He's no thrills. He's not a guru. He's not one of these, you know, people that is trying to sell you something that you don't need. This is a tool that he actually needed. So he built it. It saves him time and it helps him and his clients rank better on Google. Now he founded legit marketplace, which I actually have a service on. I've sold services on legit. It's called 3D Social Media Clips. This is uh, my service. And Legit is like a Fiverr-like marketplace. And Chris is the one that started it because he was a freelancer and he still freelances on Legit. He just happens to be the CEO and founder and owner and all of that. Uh, along with a guy named Jim, who's another great guy. This is useful for anyone that's looking to better understand what it takes to actually rank. What you get as a part of the deal is unlimited searches, white label reports, and an ability to remove unwanted user data. Now, I think the most important thing to point out here is that it's beginner friendly. So this is not a tool that is ridiculously over complex or difficult. And today we're going to be using it to actually audit one of my articles, videos versus render forest. And I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to jump into audit and I'm going to paste and we're going to go with videos versus render forest for the search term that we're looking for. And then we're going to click search and it's going to audit the keyword. And you could do this as well for keywords themselves if you wanted to look at what it takes to rank for particular keywords. But this is not a keyword research tool. This is just a tool that helps you audit and better understand maybe where you kind of missed or forgot to do something. And that's where I think you ultimately find the value. So it's going to return the top 20 results kind of similar to phrase. Now phrase is a deal that is far more valuable in the sense of being a content creator. You get those briefs, you write better content. You know, it's kind of a more all in one type deal where this is good for auditing your work already. And of course you can audit your work in phrase as well. If you already have phrase, maybe you don't need this. I don't know, but this ultimately will help you better understand what it takes. And the way that I see using this is for like local clients, you know, they come and you, they want to rank for a particular thing. You want to make sure that you do these 10 things because I am not going to pretend to be, I'm some expert like Chris at SEO, but if he says these are the 10 most important ranking factors that he has found, and this is the 10 things that he does, then that's good enough for me. So let's actually look at what it came up with. And we have render force versus videos, video editing software comparison. So we're going to get some comparisons here. It looks like that's going to be kind of the way it goes. Now here we've got the top five alternatives and I can already tell whatever this is, it's got 152 words. This one's not going to be a result that I want to include in. So I can just delete that out. Same with the product hunt. I don't want any of the product hunts. So we easily remove those. When you do local SEO, you're going to have to remove all the Yelps and the listing sites and all of that. So now we can look at the keyword appears. And what we see is that the keyword doesn't appear that many times, nor do we have that much keyword density or a keyword in the actual URL. Let's see how our URL stacks up. So here's our URL. We see that the keyword appears two times. We see the keyword density, 0.11. The total word count is 1783. I do have the keyword in the exact URL as well as in the meta title. I don't have it in the meta description, nor do I have it in an H1 tag and I only have nine images. So how does that stack up? So jumping back to the top results, we can look at the averages and that's going to average everything on that page. So here we'll get the total words, 1800. We'll see the keyword appears once, keyword density 0.1, and they also have more images. So for recommendations, they're going to say that I actually need to increase the word count by about 66 words. It also says that I need to reduce the keyword usage and reduce the keyword density, but I've done a good job with having the keyword in the URL. Uh, so right here, it's saying that the average top search result has a keyword density of 0.1%. However, your keyword has 0.11%. Now, I really don't think that that's going to make a big deal. Uh, just like right here, I think that I have it two times and the average result has one. I don't think that that's going to make a big deal. 
Here it says actually I need to remove the keyword from the meta title. I've done a good job there and there, and then I need to add some more images. And then we can open up this white labeled report, and it's gonna be a spreadsheet that then we can send to a client. So right here we have the audit report, and here we can see the top search results as well as our URL. And then we can get the averages and the recommendations. So this is one of those things that you can do for your clients. You can kind of add it a value add, you can sell it, you can itemize it. However it is, these are 10 important ranking factors that are based on the things that are actually working for those top 20 search results on Google. This is a tool that doesn't really have any thrills. This is what it does and it does it well. Before I get out of here, I wanna go over a blog article that I just wrote, audit.io SEO competition analysis tool review. And in this article, I used the audit criteria from this search term, which is a long tail uh, keyword search. And we're gonna try to rank for that using this article. So I've got all the images. I think I've got pretty much everything that I need. I've set up the, I think I set up rank math and uh, we're gonna try to rank for uh, this search term using this tool. I wanna go over the 10 ranking factors because there are 10 here. And I have an interactive checklist here so that I can go through each time I write an article and I can kind of make sure that, you know, I'm fitting within the criteria of the audit tool. Now, I know you might be thinking how it stacks up to phrase. I've referenced it a few times and I also plug this into phrase and phrase is again, more of a content brief. So we can automate our content brief here and we can come here and we can actually do, do the topics and any questions. And then we can insert the brief into the editor and we can actually get kind of, you know, what we need to do. And this is a little bit of a weird search term, but in SEO, every time I try to do this, I always get these weird scenarios and I'm like, am I doing this correctly? Uh, in this case, we have 3,200 words, six headings, but what we're gonna see is like 80 plus SEO audit tools, 51 experts, 20 plus tools. These are like listicle style results or answers for the audit SEO competition analysis tool review, which again, that's kind of, I just took it from AppSumo. That's what it's in there as. And then I added review. Phrase is gonna give us the word count, the headers, the links and images, and it's gonna differ slightly from audit. Now in my audit results, I filtered out a lot of the stuff that uh, those listicle things, and I tried to go with the options that I think kind of make up what this is gonna compete against. Uh, inside a phrase, we can also see the topic score, the way that all of these words, you know, how many times things are said. Uh, that's one of the main features that I actually use phrase for. And we can see some questions, but the questions, I don't think they're really applicable in this case. With phrase, what I like is the related tab where we can actually see audit SEO on legit.com. Again, that's Chris's uh, freelancer marketplace that he founded. And then we also see it on AppSumo. We see it on Digital Launchpad, LTD Hunt, all of these different places, this is a lot more uh, accurate to me. If I'm trying to actually, and let's click this, we can process the link and we can add it. And then we can see uh, what this link is actually doing. So we could add that to the document. Cause to me, that's a lot more relevant. Uh, I'm no expert with phrase. I'm not gonna pretend like I am, but if we actually come on to here, we can get some of the answers uh, to what this tool is. And then we can reference this inside of our article. We can see all of the reviews from the people that have picked this up from legit. I guess it's $47 for an unlimited lifetime license right now on legit as well. Now I imagine this offer is limited because it says here it usually costs $37 a month for unlimited reports. Audit.io solves a very clear problem that Chris was having. Chris is an SEO superstar, but if you're brand new to all of this SEO search engine optimization and you're intimidated by all of the advanced features that a lot of these tools have, it almost takes a degree to learn how to use some of these SEO tools. With audit.io, I was able to get started very quickly. It's self-explanatory. It gives you the 10 ranking factors. We're gonna use it as a real life case study on the AIprofits.com blog. My name is Scott with AI Profits. Like this video if it brought you any value. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like it, and we'll see you in the next one.